We need not be ignorant about the length of the coming great tribulation because the Bible doesn't leave us in the dark. Let's turn to a passage in Daniel chapter 12. We'll begin with verse 1. There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. This is what Jesus referred to when he talked about the end time. He said, There will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. Continuing in Daniel 12, we read, Then I, Daniel, looked, and there before me stood two others, one on this bank of the river, and one on the opposite bank. One of them said to the man, clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, How long will it be before these astonishing things are fulfilled? The man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, lifted his right hand and his left hand toward heaven, and I heard him swear by him who lives forever, saying, It will be for a time, times, and half a time. We are told that the time of distress, which Jesus says is the great tribulation, is going to last a time, times, and half a time. This terminology is also found in the book of Revelation. In chapter 12, verse 14, it says, the woman was given the two wings of a great eagle, so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the desert, where she would be taken care of for a time, times, and half a time. The expression a time, times, and half a time is also portrayed another way in verse 6 in the same chapter. The woman fled into the desert to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. This amount of days is equivalent to three and a half years. Thus we understand that a time is equivalent to one year, times means two years, and half a time equals half a year. Summed up, this corresponds to three and a half years. This time period is also rendered yet another way in Revelation 13 verse 5. The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise his authority for 42 months. The prophecies imply this period is the duration of the Great Tribulation. It will be a literal period of three and a half years. This can also be deducted from the ninth chapter of the book of Daniel. In verse 27 it says, The coming prince will confirm a covenant with many for one seven. The meaning is apparently a period of seven years. Then we read, In the middle of the seven he will set up an abomination that causes desolation. Daniel informs us, that an event called the abomination that causes desolation will happen in the middle of the seven years. Jesus says in Matthew 24 verses 15 and 21 that the abomination of desolation will trigger the great tribulation. This tells us the last half of the seven years will be the time of the great tribulation. From the continuation of Christ's end-time discourse in Matthew 24, the Great Tribulation will come to an end when he is revealed from heaven at his return. Jesus says this will happen immediately after the Tribulation of those days. One reason the time of Great Tribulation will only be of three and a half years duration can be seen from what Christ says in Matthew 24 verse 22. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened.